Hello, after a brief while. Uh, here's uh, my first first experience with uh, uh, sculpting, sculpting material and, and making an, an organic looking uh, lightsaber hilt. It's a uh, Darth Talon hilt uh, from Legacy Comics and, and, and it's, it has aluminum core tube and the, uh, the shapes have been uh, sculpted on, on top of it uh, using a uh, Aves epoxy sculpting material. It's it's very very cool stuff uh, to work with, and but it, it takes take some time to shape this shape shape it. But 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 once 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 the material is cured, it's really it's really hard hard and and really strong durable stuff. It's painted with uh, various animal animal paints. Uh, with the with the metallic silver, silver and the and the black black shades. Uh, the saber has a makoto makoto size uh, system in it. It's a red V3 blade and uh, and a Super One uh, 1.0 soundboard uh, powered by a single single uh, 3.7 volt lithium battery. And and the speaker is a uh, 1.1 uh, 1.1 1 .1 watt Kobe tone. Kobe tone since the inner 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 diameter is really really small. It could be a little bit louder. To be honest, uh, the Makoto system needs usually a very 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 uh, open, very much very much open open clearance in the in the pommel, and there's just few sp few speaker holes here and a one larger one, so the pommel did not leave much much room for for for. Uh, and bigger sound holes, but it's it's not bad either. Uh, since this was my first first brush with the sculpting material, uh, I decided to make two <laughs> two dark talon savers at once. And here's the here's the second one. Uh, you can see a little bit differences in the in the hilt hilt uh, style. Uh, while this this version is is more like the one Darth Allen has in the, in the comics. Uh, this 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 second version is is closer to to the to the sideshow statue and, and various other other versions of, of this of this hilt. It's more it looks more organic than the, than metal than the comic version. It has also been painted with various animals and the and the pattern is slightly different. And it has it has also uh, same same electronics inside a Makoto Makoto system. O only difference is the is the speaker speaker which is a twenty millimeter uh, twenty millimeter speaker from the custom saber shop. It's it's very very tiny, but it's 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 also very loud. It's it's about the same as the Kobe tone. So the sabers have about about the same volume. The, the I also wired a, a quick connector for the blades, so they can be removed. The blade fit, fit is really, really, really snug, so it, it takes a little bit, a little bit time to get used, used to the system. But once you, once you get the grasp of how how the how the blades work, they are really, really durable. Durable and sturdy blades. And, and since it's a Makoto blade, the brightness is definitely not a, not a problem. It's 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 insanely bright red, even though it's it's a regular V3. And there's the other saber. Also has a very nice scrolling effect and. Swing sounds and glass sounds. Like that, there's a brace of talent. Dark talent sabers. It was a funny experience, but <laughs> probably not something I'm, I'm going to do do really soon again. It, it took surprisingly a lot of time to, to get, shape these shape these kind of sabers. But well, it's an experience. Well, thanks. Bye.